हेलो बच्चो लेट्स रीड दिस क्वेश्चन इन दिस क्वेश्चन इज गिवन सपोज द चार्ज ऑफ अ प्रोटॉन एंड एन इलेक्ट्रॉन डिफर स्लाइटली वन ऑफ दम इज माइनस ई एंड द अदर इज ई प्लस डेल्टा ई इफ द नेट ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक फोर्स एंड ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स बिटवीन द टू हाइड्रोजन आइटम्स प्लेस एट अ डिस्टेंस ऑफ डी अ पार्ट इज जीरो देन डेल्टा ई इज ऑफ द ऑर्डर ऑफ एंड देर आर फोर ऑप्शन गिवन सो दे ऑल्सो गिवन द मास ऑफ एम विच इज Uh, 1.67 times 10 power minus 27. Now to solve this question, let's visualize what's happening. So this is first hydrogen atom, and this is the second hydrogen atom. It has a net charge of delta E. Both of them have a net charge of delta E. Since it's a positive charge, they will both repel each other. There is going to be a electrostatic force on each of them in the opposite direction. And since they both have some mass, there is going to be a gravitational force on each of them. in the uh, attractive in the form of an attractive force now since they're saying the net charge uh, net force on them due to these two things is zero we can say that the electrostatic force is equal to the gravitational force now we know the formula for electrostatic force the gravitational force is going to be gmm by r square and for the electrostatic force it's going to be kq1 q2 divided by r square this is the electrostatic force and this is the gravitational force since r square is common we uh, and it's equal to r is equal to d we can cancel them out now let's substitute the given values we know that g is 6.67 into 10 power minus 11 and m is going to be 1.67 into 10 power minus 27 whole square and then we have the value of k which is going to be 9 into 10 power 9 and the value of q square now on solving the constants we have 6.67 into 1.67 square divided by 9 and then we have 10 power minus 54 minus 11 is equal to 10 power 9 q square so we can uh on calculation this will come out to be roughly 18 point something so we can say that this value is about the value of 2 so now we have 10 power minus 54 minus 11 and then when we take this to the other side this will be minus 9 so this becomes 10 power minus 74 right because minus 11 minus 9 will become minus 20 minus 54 minus 20 will be 10 power minus 74 this is equal to q square so q will be of the order of so this is 2 times q square almost 2 times this is a rough value so q will almost be equal to root 2 times 10 power minus 74 by 2 so this 74 by 2 comes out to be approximately root 2 times 10 power minus 37 so we have this value over here so they have asked us only the order of the delta e so the order of delta e will be of 10 power minus 37 so we can put this value in we have uh, as you can see the option c matches this 10 power minus 37 so the final answer for this question is going to be option c 10 power minus 37 coulombs i hope you understood the solution thank you very much